Dash. Hey, everybody, welcome to another episode from West LA Computer Expert, where we answer all your burning tech questions. I'm Daniel, lead tech and today we're going to talk about something that is very important for every PC user, backing up your data. You see, your PC is not just a machine. It's a collection of your memories, your work, your hobbies, your preferences, and more. It contains files, photos, videos, music, documents, settings, apps, and browser favorites that you've accumulated over time. And you don't want to lose any of them, right? Well, unfortunately, things can go wrong with your PC. It can get infected by malware, corrupted by a power outage, damaged by a hardware failure, or stolen by a thief. And if you don't have a backup of your data, you could lose everything in an instant. That's why backing up your PC is essential. It's like having an insurance policy for your digital life. It gives you peace of mind that no matter what happens to your PC, you can always restore your data to a new or repaired device. But how do you back up your PC? Well, there are different ways to do it, depending on what you want to back up and how often you want to do it. Let me show you some of the options. One of the easiest ways to back up your PC is to use Windows Backup. This is a built-in feature of Windows 10 and Windows 11 that lets you back up your folders, settings, apps, and Wi-Fi information to OneDrive, Microsoft's cloud storage service. All you need is a Microsoft account and an internet connection. To use Windows Backup, go to Setting Accounts Windows Backup and use OneDrive as your backup destination. You can then choose which folders you want to back up, desktop, documents, pictures, videos, or music. You can also toggle on or off the backup of your settings and apps. Once you set up Windows Backup, it will automatically sync your data to OneDrive whenever there are changes or additions. You can also manually start a backup by clicking Start Backup. If you've chosen to sync settings from a Windows 10 or 11 device, they'll be automatically restored on your new PC when you sign in with your Microsoft account. In Windows 11, there is also file history in Windows which is easy to set up and keeps versions of all you files for you to restore at any time. Windows Backup is great for backing up your personal files and settings, but it doesn't back up everything on your PC. For example, it doesn't back up your operating system, drivers, programs that are not from the Microsoft Store, or files that are larger than 20 GB. If you want to back up everything on your PC, including the system files and partitions that are required to boot Windows, you need to create a system image. A system image is an exact copy of your entire PC that you can use to restore your PC to its previous state in case of a major problem. To create a system image on Windows 10 or Windows 11, go to Control Panel Greater Than System and Security Greater Than Backup and Restore, Windows 7. Then click Create a System Image on the left pane. You can choose to save the system image on an external hard drive, a network location, or DVDs. Follow the instructions on the screen to complete the process. To restore your PC from a system image, you need to boot from a recovery drive or installation media that matches the version of Windows that you're using. Then go to Troubleshoot Greater Than Advanced Options Greater Than System Image Recovery and select the system image that you want to use. Creating a system image is a good way to protect your entire PC from disasters, but it has some drawbacks. For one thing, it takes up a lot of space and time to create and restore. For another thing, it doesn't allow you to restore individual files or folders, you have to restore everything at once. That's why I recommend using both Windows Backup and System Image as complementary methods of backing up your PC. Use Windows Backup for your regular backups of your personal data and settings that change frequently. Use System Image for occasional backups of your entire PC that capture its current state. Of course, there are other ways to back up your PC besides using Windows tools. You can use third-party software that offer more features and flexibility than Windows Backup or System Image. You can also use online backup services that store your data in secure servers on the internet. Whatever method you choose, the important thing is that you back up your PC regularly and keep multiple copies of your backups in different locations. That way, you can minimize the risk of losing any of your precious data. And that's it for today's episode from West LA Computer Expert. I hope you learned something useful about backing up your PC. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or email us at support at wesleycomputerexpert.tech. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Until next time, I'm Daniel. Thanks for watching.